Hey guys, it's me, Charlie. So today I'm going to be um, hatching out brine shrimp. And I wanted to show you the supplies that you're going to need in order to hatch out your brine shrimp. You'll need some salt. This is aquarium salt. You can either use um, a regular salt, but not the iodized one, which is why I have the sample here. You don't want to use this one because it's iodized. You just want to use a regular sea salt or um, some kind of a aquarium salt or kosher salt. You're also going to need some baking soda. This is to use to buffer up the um, pH in here to make sure it's the right temperature or the right um, pH. You're going to need a um, measuring spoon. This one happens to be a one teaspoon and a one tablespoon. You'll need an air pump. You'll need some air tubing. And you'll need a straw or some kind of a, a, a like long little um, stick that you can also purchase at the pet store that goes into the submersible underground um, fish tank. And um, I just used a straw and it connects perfectly to the tubing that's in here. And then you're going to want to use either um, a one liter or a two liter soda pop container. I'm using a two liter and I filled it all the way up to the part where it looks like the width is the same as the rest of the body. So this is about almost two liters. It's a little bit short of two liters. What you'll need to do is you'll need to just grab a pinch of baking soda, just a little pinch, just literally grab a pinch and you want to add that to the top. Then you want to take your salt and you're going to want to add one tablespoon of salt for every liter of water. So what I did is I actually did about two tablespoons. Uh, I was a little shy on the second one. So um, just because, you know, the sea salt is strong anyway, so a little extra isn't a big deal. And then off, of course, I forgot to mention, you'll need your brine shrimp eggs. These are eggs that I bought about 12 years ago for $1.99. It came in a tube at Petco and I still have it. And I've been hatching out um, brine shrimp and it's been successful. One teaspoon uh, or half a teaspoon of brine shrimp eggs is about 280,000 brine shrimp. If 90% of them hatch, that's like 250,000. So that's still a really good percentage. What you're going to want to do as soon as you get your warm water in your two liter pop, you got your bubbler going, your air pump turned on, and you got the bubbles going. You add your uh, salt and a pinch of baking soda. Let that sit for about 10-15 minutes. That way the sugar can mix in and also the bubbler is going to take out some of the chlorine even though it's not a big deal if the chlorine's in there. Not for these brine eggs anyways. Once you've got that set up, you can go ahead and grab a half a teaspoon of your brine shrimp. What I ended up doing is actually taking the cap and I filled the cap full. Once I got the cap filled, I actually poured it in here. And then inside you have your brine shrimp eggs. Now these brine shrimp eggs are actually going in a circle all the way around. When they harvest these eggs, um, they harvest them from the ponds and salt ponds and, and ocean and they dehydrate them. And so they kind of um, dehydrate for many, many, many years and they stay that way. And once you put them in salt water again, they rehydrate and within 24 hours, as long as your temperature is around about 77 degrees um, you can actually take a lamp like this one here put it close down to keep this warm and um, if, you're, if you're in the summer and it's nice and warm in your house it should be okay the reason why you want a little heat is because they will hatch within 24 hours if it's a little bit cold it'll take longer it could take up to three days for to start to see the hatching I accidentally put mine in the refrigerator and three days later they finally hatched so they I, I need these to hatch by tomorrow now the reason why I'm doing this is because today it's been two weeks and I noticed that my baby oxalotls are actually hatching now it's hard to see in this video but they've actually started hatching and I have a few loose ones in here and they're going to be feeding off their egg yolk so I won't have to worry about that for at least uh, two days and um, once I visibly can see that the egg yolk is gone 
they're going to be very hungry so i'm going to need to feed them this brine shrimp so tomorrow when these brine shrimp hatch you're going to turn off your bubbler on the top here you're going to have all your eggs in the middle is going to be clear and on the bottom you're going to have all your baby brine shrimp when they settle to the bottom after you turn this off then you want to go ahead and either keep this straw in here detach your tubing and then strain out the rest into the water or into a little cup so you can harvest that and feed it to your oxalotos so if anybody has any questions or comments don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys on the next video